Hello and welcome to episode 37 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making and using the Iron Axe and Iron Pick. Although I, I have made them already, I want to show what you will need uh, component wise in order to make them. Also I want to demonstrate their use usefulness by example. Uh, so I'll be showing uh, the components and then the benefits of upgrading to the iron tools. First up, there was a minor update yesterday. It did two things. It increased the well to hold five water instead of four. And I'm going to show you that. And also it upgraded the boots of speed by five points. Not that I've got to them yet, but I will eventually. That's another episode and it's a good one. Well, hopefully. Okay, so let's start by showing the well. Like I say, they've been updated uh, yesterday, so now when you click on them, you'll see you get five water at a time instead of the normal four, which is very cool. You can see that I've now built a third well because when I gained level eight, it allowed me to make an extra well. Also, you can see I've uh, built now four extra uh, seed beds. So that's also cool. So I'm getting a load of resources and I shall keep expanding um, as you see, or as you will see. Next, I want to thank Dragoran for some very helpful tips he left in the comments. I mean, he just in his usual style, he always leaves some excellent information, just like Llewell Llewellyn, who also leaves a load of excellent information. So let's show, though, in this case, what uh, Dragoran had uh, left in his comment. Uh, and thank you very much, Dragoran. Your help is always much appreciated, and so is yours, Llewellyn. Okay, so first up, he mentioned about if uh, for picking up stacks of items, you can right click and get one at a time. Okay, so that's all very good. You can also, though, right click, hold the button, and it picks up 10 at a time. Did you see that? Let's show you again. So you hold the right mouse button over an item, keep it pressed, and then it will increment in tens. So thank you for that, Dragoran. I didn't know that. I did know about the single right clicking to pick up, but I didn't know about keeping the right button kept. Uh, pressed. Okay, let's show you another useful, very useful tip that Dragoran said. Okay, now as you can see here, I've got my seed beds going along, and on purpose I've placed a hand lamp, um, a pocket lantern here, where it's obviously going to be in my way for further farm expansions. Uh, so, what Dragoran mentioned is the fact that you can destroy an item as in the pocket lamp and put it somewhere else. So let's show you that. So if you press the B key to bring up the build menu, then click destroy, you'll see that you can then destroy the items. In this case, I want to destroy the, um, the pocket lantern. So I left click on it and then say yes. You see, it, when it gets destroyed, it just pops onto the ground. Now what I can do, if I bring up my inventory, notice that I have currently 43 in my pocket, but if I left click on that, bang, got it in my pocket. So that's how you can place your um, pocket lamps wherever you want, as often as you want. So very, very cool. So let's put one back down, and I'll put it right there next to it just to keep this area a bit light. Okay, so there we go. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. He has said a lot more, so please do read um, all the comments that go in there because there's some really good ones with some really good information. Um, I also want to try and show what Llewellyn had said as well. Um, he has come up with some very, very good ideas also. You'll notice over here that I've slowly getting around to expanding my animal farm so George would be proud of me 
Um, what I intend to do though is to move these further back so they're bigger, they're deeper. So when I walk animals in, I can, for example, I'm going to extend this so it comes right back here to these bushes for the chickens because I've decided I want 10 chickens, that way it's 10 eggs at a time. And so that's what I'm going to do with regards to that. I'm also going to expand this and fill it up with cows. Anyway, let's get back to what this episode is on, which is the iron axe and the iron pick. So, it all begins with the anvil. That is where you make them. So if we take a look at their recipes, to make the iron axe, you will need 10 sticks and 2 iron ingots. To make the iron pick, you will need 10 sticks and again 2 iron ingots. That will get you the iron axe and the iron pick. So now let's have a look at whether you should bother to upgrade. Well the answer of course is yes you should. Because if I compare first of all the Iron Axe which does 25 damage and attack speed 0 0.59 to the Stone Axe you will see the attack speed is exactly the same. But what's important to note here is the damage. The Stone Axe only does 10 damage whereas the Iron Axe does 25. What that means to me and you is that the Iron Axe is two and a half times quicker than the Stone Axe to use. So let's show by example. So I'm going to put the Stone Axe in slot 4 and the Iron Axe in slot 5. Right, okay, cool. Let's now find a tree to demonstrate this on. Now, I've been cutting back... Um, oh, there's a running lump of meat, for sure. I must get around to showing pigs, actually, and slaughtering them, and see, showing how much meat you get. So, you can see I was cutting down the trees and bushes here to make room to extend this. I'm going to do the same with the chickens. I'm also going to build a middle pen here. Uh, I won't have to w worry about fences either side because I'm going to utilise my chicken coop and my cow pasture over there to make a sheep pen in the middle here. But let's find a tree. So over here I'm going to be expanding with uh, a lot more stuff no doubt. But let's show you with a tree. So first of all the stone axe. Let's see how many chops it takes before we get the tree cut down. So 10 chops with the stone axe. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate with exactly the same tree. So we can see, oh yeah, there's a goblin over there. I shall deal with him later. So let's see with exactly the same type of tree, this time using the iron axe. So there you go, that is exactly two and a half times quicker to chop the tree down because the stone was ten chops and the iron was four. So absolutely fantastic, so definitely worth upgrading. And for doing bushes, look at that, one chop. I mean, that is just so cool. Same with the sunflower seeds, uh, the sunflowers, sorry. One chop and you chop them down. So the iron axe is the way to go. Now, I wonder if the chickens will mind me depositing my stone axe in their coop. Well, it will be once I extend the fences, but for now, that's where I'll leave that. Right, okay, next, let's have a look at a comparison between the stone pick well actually I'm going to drop the stone pick I'm just going to show you mining with the iron pick um, because believe me when I tell you it's much quicker so let's go find ourselves some rocks to do a bit of mining at
Yeah, and I love chopping down the apple trees now because it's so quick to do it. And of course, I'm getting apples for them apple pies that I'm going to be making. I've decided on making a hundred apple pies and a hundred chocolate. Why not? I'm going to pig out. My blood will not only be full of caffeine and um, strawberry trifle, it's going to have the addition of apple pie and chocolate. All good. Anyway, so I think there's a node over there, but first I will need to deal with these goblins. Oh, a bit premature there. Okay, so here we have some stone. Let's get a mining. Oh, wait a minute, I'm going to have to deal with these. Of course, you can see they're not much bother now. More of an inconvenience, these low-level creatures. Right, okay, so let's switch to my iron pick. Now, trust me when I tell you, if it had been the stone pick, it would have drained a load of stamina mining out this big boulder. Um, but with my new improved iron pick, it is a joy to mine. So here we go. I noticed that um, also an addition that I, when mining metal ores, I a lot of the time get like just then, I get uh, two ores at uh, once. Whereas with the stone pick, it was always only a single ore that I'd ever noticed. But using the iron pick, I've noticed that occasionally I get uh, two ore, two, two rocks or two ores at a time. So as you can see, nice and quick. Let's grab all of that. So there we go, that is the iron axe and the iron pick, which is going to help. Oh, it's a bit laggy whenever I do the map, but let's just wait for it. Which is going to help with me, of course, working my way to this third shard. Because it's a long old way. But really, I'm not really concerned with that, because I love it. This world is huge, and it's full of resources that I can mine. Especially now, I've got iron tools. Anyway, so there we go. That's the Iron Axe and Iron Pick. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you, and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.